special rite of passage in every Agnes Scott student's college life is the sophomore ring ceremony. During this special tradition, Scotties are given their black onyx class rings inscribed with the letters ASC and your class year. Some call them the Black Ring Mafia, and it's a source of pride and honor amongst the Scottyhood. Today's presentation is for you, the class of 2023, Buttercup. It is with great pride that I formally welcome you to the Class of 2023 Sophomore Ring Ceremony. My name is Rosa Parks and I am beyond honored to be 2023's Class President. I would first like to acknowledge the people who have made it possible for us to be here today, virtually or not. The essential workers and first responders that have been working tirelessly to support us and keep us healthy and safe. Thank you to President Zach for her courageous leadership. Thank you to all the professors and Agnes Scott employees who have tried to cultivate an environment that encourages us through these trying times. I would also personally like to thank my friends and my parents and the class council for supporting me on this journey. The previous year has been a constant swirl of chaos, anxiety, loss, and pain. The time we are living through is traumatic and tough. We are going to college at the same time that a global pandemic is happening, the same time that injustice is reaching a boiling point. We are living through history and it is hard, surreal, and draining, but we are living. And while we are living through this time, some of you may be wondering, why should I care about a ring ceremony? This is not just a ring but a reminder that we are a part of a community that will protect each other, support each other, grow with each other, and love each other. Community is the most valuable thing that we can have right now. The bonds we form are indestructible. And anytime you feel alone, remember that there is a Scotty just a call or a Zoom away that will be there for you. This ring is an inspiration. This ring sits on the hands of great leaders, inspiring artists, honest writers, and more. Remember that there will soon be one on Catherine Blank's hand, whose kindness for everyone challenges us all to be better. The ring will soon be on Asha Dow's hand, whose laughter, which can be heard from every corner of the earth, reminds us that joy is in every one of us. You sometimes just have to look a tiny bit more. And the ring will be on Aya Muhammad's hand, whose unfathomable diligence drives us all to keep working, keep waking up, keep moving, no matter how tired we may be. In 10 or 20 years, when some of us are famous athletes, life-saving doctors, care-finding scientists, musicians, senators, we will be able to look down at our hands and see the Agnes Scott ring. So let us ring in our futures and continue to heal to grow, to spread our joy, and to celebrate ourselves. Because each and every one of you truly deserves to be celebrated. And now, it is with extreme pleasure that I welcome guest speaker, 2014 alum, Natalia Castells Esquivel, 
Natalia graduated Agnes with a Bachelor of Arts in English and a minor in Studio Arts. Their journey has taken them from Mexico to Atlanta and now to Los Angeles where they currently reside. They have been a staff writer at proclaimed media production companies such as Netflix, H HBO Max, and Disney. They are currently working on an HBO pilot called Women's Studies, which will reflect the experiences of attending a small women's college in Atlanta, much like this one. Their achievements are inspirational and exceptional, and it is such an honor to have Natalia speak to us today. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Hey everyone. Thank you so much for having me here. Here, I mean, pandemic times, right? Um, if you hear my dog barking at any point, my apologies. Working from home is hard. Um, I don't know if y'all are back on campus or if you've been taking virtual classes, but I'm sure you get it. Anyways, I hear congratulations are in order. You've made it to your second year. It's a big deal. It's been a decade, 10 years since I was a sophomore um, at Agnes Scott. And I'm about to, to sound really old when I say this, but time really does fly. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to y'all about today. So my second year at Agnes was really hard. Um, I was going through a breakup. I, classes were hard. I, and I think I was just like ultimately deconstructing myself, which I think is what we all do in college to some degree. But I wasn't even going through a global pandemic. So my heart goes out to y'all. I can imagine it's been really hard either you know, being stuck away from family or with family, <laughs> um, away from your friends, away from your community. The anxiety, the uncertainty of it all. And I can imagine some of you have even lost loved ones. So it's been really hard. And the fact that you made it, you should be very, very proud of yourselves. Time really does fly. One day it's it's 10 years later and you're in a, in a group thread with all of your friends. And by the way, you're old now, according to TikTok, um, which I feel like even saying that makes me sound old. Um, but yeah, you're old and, and you're talking to your friends and one of them, and this is a true story, one of them just texts, Agnes Scott was the best time of my life. It means it, and it makes you all miss it so, so much. So I guess my advice to y'all is like, focus on being present and making memories, even though it's hard, harder for some of you more than others, I can imagine. For example, for me, I, I was a commuter all four years. And by the first year, by the first week of the first year, everyone had already made friends they all bonded at the dorms and it took me about, it took me a while. It took me until the second semester of my sophomore, sophomore year, I, I would say, to feel like I really belonged. Um, I had to try extra hard. And I know some of you, I, listen, Agnes Scott is incredible. It's incredible. And for some, it feels like arriving to a home that they didn't know existed yet. But some, for some of you, it might be harder. Um, and I want to speak to y'all. I want to speak to experience. And I want to tell you, keep trying. Because it really is worth it. One day, you you know, you have the worst Valentine's Day. Um, and, and you walk into class and the girl who you've been sitting next to for the past few months asks you how your weekend was. And you tell her it was awful. And she has a terrible Valentine's Day story as well. And then uh, you bond over that and you become best friends and she introduces you to her, introduces you to her friends. And then, you know, fast forward, you get an apartment in the city. Three of you move to New York City together and you go on adventures and you have all the experiences and you, 
spend Christmas with each other's families and you end up in Iceland eating fermented shark. Um, it's so, so worth it. And we owe it all to Agnes Scott. Agnes Scott gave us uh, all the friendship and memories and knowledge and confidence um, to, you know, to face the world. And we miss it a lot. So all this to say, I know college can be hard. Um, it is hard. And I know 2020 sucked. We can all agree on that. Um, 2021 probably won't be much better. <laughs> but I hope you try and open up and make new friends. Take a women's studies class. I didn't take one and I deeply regret it. Although most of my friends are women's studies majors, so I learned a lot through them. But yeah, take the classes you want to take. Have fun. Party. I mean, COVID. So I hope you're having Zoom parties, virtual parties. Be safe. Here's what I want to say. You've made it this far. Keep going. You're going to have the time of your life. And just remember that if you lean into Agnes Scott, Agnes Scott is always going to have your back. Uh, some of you already know that. And I hope some of you are about to find out. Welcome to the Black Ring Mafia. And do you see her tail? Here, Taco, come here. Come say hi to these sophomores. This is Taco. She says congrats too. <laughs> Bye, y'all.
class of 2023, on behalf of the Agnes Scott Alumni Association and thousands of Scotties all over the world sporting their Onyx rings, congratulations and welcome to the Black Ring Mafia. You know, it takes a green class Scotty to know one. So for my Scotty siblings in the class of 2003, also known as Poison Ivy, we salute you, Buttercups. Today is a rite of passage. It's a moment, and I invite you to fully embrace this moment and to be present. This is not just another virtual event. It is your moment and your time to shine. You've earned your way here. When you receive your black onyx ring and proudly place it on your finger, you are fully accepting the Scottyhood that you entered a year and a half ago. This community of leaders, faculty, staff, alumni, and peers who support you believe in you and who entrust you with the ideals of Agnes Scott. Make sure when you slip your ring on your finger that the inscribed ASC letters are turned towards you as you continue your journey of learning and personal growth at Agnes. Wear your ring with pride, wear it with honor, and wear it with the responsibility that comes with being a Scotty. To think deeply, to live honorably, and to engage the social and intellectual challenges of our times. And in just another couple of years, before you know it, you will cross that stage at commencement and be asked to turn your rings around so that the letters ASC face the world boldly as you begin making history as Agnes alumni. I read up on Buttercup, you know. She's strong. She can be headstrong. She's brave, the toughest fighter. Let this black onyx ring empower and embolden you to fight for justice, fight for your dreams, fight for Agnes Scott and for your Scotty siblings. And may you be strong enough to redefine what fighting for something or someone means, fighting with love, compassion, grace and commitment, fighting against divisiveness. You are now united and forever a part of this beautiful, bold and diverse Black Ring Mafia. Onyx is said to absorb negative energy and to have healing properties. Now, I don't know if that's true. What I do know is that since receiving my ring at Agnes Scott 20 years ago this month with my mom, dad, and brother present and my Scotty siblings there who are still my best friends today, I have lost count of the number of times that I have looked at this ring, even wrestled with it on my finger when making a decision and I've lost count of the number of times when the community that it stands for, this Scotty community of strength, perseverance, wisdom, determination, curiosity, and resilience has comforted me, challenged me, and encouraged me to make whatever decision lies ahead with confidence and with integrity. From this day forward, May your onyx ring whisper to you as it has to me so many times over these past two decades. You've got this, you are a Scotty, and like it or not, you're now part of something bigger than yourself. So, from green to green, and from ring to ring, congratulations, class of 2023, and welcome again, officially, to the Black Ring Mafia. Congratulations, class of 2023. My name is Suiksha Sharma and I'm your class senator. I'm so proud to be your class officer and celebrate this special day with you together. To commemorate this special event, I would like to invite our next guest who holds a special place in all Scotty's heart. It is with a distinct pleasure that I introduce to you the ninth president of Agnes Scott College, President Lee Isaac. A Phi Beta Kappa graduate of Mount Holyoke College, President Zach holds a Juris Doctorate degree from Northeastern University School of Law. Zach is treasurer of Atlanta Regional Council for Higher Education, or as you know it, ARCH, and a member of Rotary Club of Atlanta and the SunTrust Atlanta Advisory Council. She serves on the Metro Atlanta Chamber Innovation and Entrepreneurship Advisory Board and is a trustee of Global Partners for Good, an international nonprofit organization. Zach has extensive background in international economic development and finance. And in 2010, she was appointed by President Obama and confirmed by the U.S. Senate to serve as the Director of U.S. Trade and Development Agency. 
She first joined the agency in 2000, and prior to her appointment as director, she served as general counsel, deputy director, and acting director under the Bush and Obama administrations. While in government service, Zach was also involved in establishing the Women in Public Service Project, a global program working to improve the representation of women in policy and public leadership positions housed at the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. In 2020, President Zach was named Atlanta Magazine's Top 500 Most Powerful Leaders in Atlanta, which highlights the city's top CEOs, heads of nonprofits, educational professionals, and more. President Zach truly embodies what it means to be a leader, not only in our Agnes Scott community, but also in our ever-changing world. I first met her when she invited new students in our home for an ice cream social. She showed us around the house, uh, sharing the great contributions of the scholars that came before us, and telling us that we were also now a part of this legacy of change makers. I remember instantly feeling connected, heard, and inspired. This is just one of the many instances where she has made an active effort to listen to students, make them comfortable, and support their endeavors. Especially this year with the pandemic and all the uncertainties, President Zach has stood for our students and inspired us with her resilience to fight the virus. President Zach, we are so thrilled to have you as an exemplary figure and are excited to hear from you on this special day. With this, I would like to pass the screen to President Zach. Thank you. Greetings, Buttercups. Thank you, Shwitska, for that lovely introduction. Buttercups, I am delighted to be celebrating with you today. I only wish that we were gathered in Games Chapel, filled with applause, hugs, and raised rings hands. Family and friends, thank you for celebrating with us. Class of 2023, today marks a significant milestone. It serves as a symbolic marker of the distance you have come since your first days when you were pushing your move-in carts across campus. You probably remember that first semester when you were undoubtedly excited, but maybe a little bit nervous about being a first-year student. You focused on making new friends and finding the best path for yourself. Of course, None of us expected your first year on campus to end so abruptly due to a global pandemic. But I applaud you for your resilience, your determination, as you've continued your Agnes Scott adventure. Like your mascot, Buttercup, you are tough, you are fighters, you are determined, and you do not give in easily. In fact, your accomplishments are many given your short time on campus. You are GEMS and C200 scholars. You are legacy leaders, administration ambassadors, orientation leaders, RAs, and catalyst leaders. You serve on SGA and lead many student organizations. And you are Luxingers, and you are on the President's Community Engagement Honor Roll and at least six of you are entrepreneurs running your own businesses. Buttercups, you are now part of a strong, smart, innovative, thoughtful, honorable, and yes, spicy group that wears the ring proudly. Family and friends, you have just watched your student be recognized for reaching this special rite of passage at Agnes Scott. The onyx ring is a symbol that incorporates our proud traditions and is the single most recognizable image of the college. This ring is more than a piece of jewelry. It is a symbol of unity. It is a beacon for Scotties when they cross paths while leading across the world. You heard some of the stories today, and there are many. One of my favorite stories was when a ring left in a Miami hotel room safe was retrieved and returned to the owner by the next guest to check into that room. By whom, you may ask? No other than an Agnes Scott alum. Our Scotties are so amazing. As you heard, 
When student leaders in the class of 2020 participated in the ring ceremony, they took note that some of their classmates were unable to receive this special symbol because they could not afford to purchase a ring. These phenomenal class leaders saw an opportunity for change. They devised a plan and now a ring is included in the student fee, ensuring that every Scotty receives a ring. It is our action-oriented students who want to make the world a better and more just place. They inspire me every day. As I have said over and over again, our students are leading everywhere, but it begins here on the Agnes Scott campus. Buttercups, wear your ring proudly and remember its meaning as you embark on new adventures, both inside and beyond the classroom. I hope your ring will become a reminder of the impact that you have made on your peers and the legacy that you will leave for us and those who will follow you. I congratulate each of you on this momentous occasion. Congratulations, Buttercups. Thank you, Natalia and Whitney and President Zach for your thoughtful messages. I'm honored to now welcome the Buttercups into the Black Ring Mafia. We did it. Although we are not celebrating this tradition as we may have anticipated, I believe becoming solidified in this Agnes Scott legacy now is more important than ever. This past year has highlighted disparities felt along various lines, from ethnicity to income, in both our local and global communities. But it has also revealed the power of our Agnes Scott community. In moments where the fragility and uncertainty in our everyday lives were revealed, the unity of our Agnes Scott community prevailed. I used to believe that Agnes Scott College was confined to 90 acres of brick and grass found in Decatur, Georgia, but I learned how Agnes Scott College is not a place, but people. People who have your back even when you think no one does, and people who silently lead but are seldom recognized as heroes. It's the innate connection we feel with our peers as we partake in school traditions and question how we can create a better tomorrow that makes us a community. We are entering a new moment in history requiring an even greater focus on social impact and equity in our work beyond the walls of this institution. And as we continue our college careers and move forward in our lives, let this ring serve as a reminder of our community's shared commitment to think deeply, live honorably, and engage in the intellectual and social challenges of our times. Thank you all for joining us today and celebrating the class of 2023's sophomore ring ceremony. Welcome to the Black Ring Mafia. Thank you for joining us today in celebrating the class of 2023's sophomore ring ceremony.